PGA Golf Professional here in Blarney Golf Resort. Um, we're putting a couple of clips together. Uh, we're talking about common sense on the golf course, the thinking, what you're doing, when you should be doing it. So many guys come in to me and they talk about the best clubs they have, the drivers, the new irons. They have the best of equipment and they arrive on the golf course and they expect them to work for them. They don't think about what they need to do. They don't listen to themselves. One, what shot can you hit when you're supposed to hit it? So we're looking at consistency and we're looking at common sense on the golf course. Consistency comes from hitting shots you can hit. You stand on the first tee. How many people have stand on the first tee and said, give me the driver there because everyone else hits the driver so I better hit the driver. Instead of standing on the tee and saying, what shot can I hit now? Just rush from the car park. I'm not warmed up. And they expect me to hit a driver down the middle of the fairway. And if I don't, what will they think? So for once, if you could stop and think, let's hit the shot we can hit at the time you're trying to hit it. Guy come into the shop to me during the week and asked me, Alan, any tip on it, how you hit a tree wood? And I say, a tip on hitting a tree wood? Off the tee? And he says, no, off the fairway. This guy is playing off a 14, 15 handicap, and I say, okay, how far do you think you can hit this tree wood? And he said, I hit it about 220, 230. So I said, how many times out of 10 could you hit this tree wood? 220, 230. And he said, uh, not very often at the moment. So a guy playing off a 14 or 15, and he's standing 230 yards from his target. I said, why not hit a 9 iron and a 9 iron? Why not hit a six iron and a wedge? Why not play the game to your strengths? Everyone can hit it from 100 yards in. So now, why not perfect from there in? Instead of standing there at 230, trying to hit a tree wood, along the ground it goes, this frustration builds up. And what happens next? Try and make up for the last shot. More frustration along the ground. And what happens next? More frustration. So why do you think everyone comes off the golf course exhausted? Because you're not hitting the shots you can hit at the time. So what I'm asking you to do is go to the golf course, prepare on the tee what shots you can hit. Prepare just before you pull the club out of the bag. Stop, think. Common sense, what can I do right now? Playing a little pitch around the green over a bunker, across water, what can I do? Am I going to play this lovely thing that you see on Sky Sports or going to hit the shot I can hit? Is the flag an option? Maybe not. So again, common sense. If I'm standing in the middle of the fairway, I maintain high handicappers, 12 handicap up. If you're 180 to 200 yards, the percentages of you hitting the target are really against you. You probably have a stroke in the hole, so there's, you're not asked to hit the hole. 